Philly shook his head and faced the crowded cafeteria, shouting, Those sick, sadistic shysts! They get their kicks from beating us down! He swung a foot in their direction, as if to boot the entire student body. They can all eat shysts and die! No one responded or even acknowledged Philly, save a single 600 who chucked a half-eaten biscuit at Philly's face. Cassie looked up and studied her fellow 400s. Philly was a tall, lithe figure with his blonde hair and a side part with a quiff. He smiled with his whole face, and his crystal blue eyes looked like they were ready to burst into tears of laughter at any given moment. Adonis had Spanish eyes and was equally thin and wiry. His black wavy hair parted down the middle in curtains and fell just past his jawline. When he moved, he swayed as if dancing to his own imaginary rhythm. Cossy could instantly tell they both spent a lot of time laughing, which either meant they had completely lost their minds, or they couldn't care less about being the wet sand on the bottom of everyone's feet. At least they were friendly. Wait, wait, you're Asian? Adonis studied her closely. His words rolled off quickly, like the fast hits of an up-tempo bongo groove. Um, yes. Let me see, let me see your hands. Adonis grabbed her left hand and inspected her fingers. Ah, you must only be part Asian. What? Cassie snatched her hand back, examining her fingers. Full Asians don't have fingerprints, and you have fingerprints, so you must be only part Asian. Jaya cast him a sidelong glance and rolled her eyes with disgust. What? Philly said as he burst out <laughs> laughing. His laugh reminded Cassie of a bombastic trumpet solo in a jazz improv session. Asians don't have fingerprints? Where'd you hear that from? One of your ludicre cousins? I'm telling you, they don't. I heard it from a child who said it's why so many Asians become ninjas. Donis, you soft-headed shyst. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Just then, Savraya, the red-headed girl who had helped Kasi in the washrooms, joined them. What'd I miss? Donis thinks, he thinks Asians don't have fingerprints. He says, that's why so many become ninjas. He had one of those infectious laughs. Kasi couldn't help but join in. After all she had been through that day, it felt good to laugh. Don't laugh, I'm telling you! Adonis's face reddened. Here we go again. Savraya shook her head before turning toward Kasi and staring at the burn on her neck. Shower curtain girl. That's me. Kasi instinctively felt the discoloration on her neck. Welcome to the trench. Savraya bowed. You two know each other? Savraya helped me with an awkward situation this morning, Kasi said, smoothing one of the many wrinkles in her uniform. Do I even want to know? Probably not. Sabraya shook her head, closing her eyes and scrunching her face a little as she did so. Savvy's a real loon, but she's one of us. Philly said with a loud slap on Sabraya's back. I'm not a loon. Sabraya retaliated by slugging his arm. Right. Because normal people iron their clothes outside on their front porch. Philly said, rubbing his arm where she had hit him. What? It was smoky in my house. My dad burnt breakfast. He burned breakfast? It's practically impossible. You hit a single button on the air fryer to cook it. How in Sheba's mystic mountains did your dad burn it? Philly wildly threw his arms into the air. Our fryer is broken. Or what about what about that time when she came over to your house and brought her own cup of water? An actual cup. And she called it her watercolor cup. Philly said with a point of his finger. It was watercolor. The color of water? That's called clear. And you didn't think I would have any cups in my house? Adonis <laughs> laughed with a snort. Cassie resisted the urge, not wanting to offend Savraya. How would I know what you do or don't have? Savraya squared up with Philly. Because everybody has them. They're government issue. Philly talked with his hands, emphasizing each word. Cassie whipped her head back and forth between them as they rambled on. Everything about them was so foreign and odd. But at least they weren't cruel. So far, they were the only pleasant guyans Cassie had met. 400s, you're up! came the shout from the other end of the cafeteria.